G'day, I'm Mark Berg and welcome to another week of Fishing Addiction, the show that surprises fishers all over the country with incredible fishing adventures. This week, we're surprising a guy called Tyler. He lives just down the road. We've just snuck up in the D-Max. We're about to go to his house, knock on the door, and we're gonna take him to the Northern Territory chasing Barra with barefoot fishing safaris. It should be a fantastic trip. Now his partner, she is freaking out as most do. <laughs> she's been planning this for the last week or so with me and uh, hopefully she keeps it together for Tyler. Let's go surprise our fish show. Is Dad here? Where's Dad? You watch me. Tyler! Are you kidding me? How you going, brother? Are you kidding me? Can we come in? Yes, let me let you in. You're locked out. Hold on, that's for the three-year-old. <laughs> okay. Come on in. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh my god. Hey. Are you kidding me, Mark? How you going, brother? Oh, I'm very, very well. <laughs> Look at I this one. I'm worried he's about to head climbing. Come over here. Are you kidding me? No, I'm dead so serious, mate. Oh, We're here to take you oh. right now. It's all been okay with your boss at work. We're going to the Northern Territory, oh. mate. <laughs> <laughs> How good is that, kids? Is that good? Daddy gets to go on a fishing wow. trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going barra fishing for a week, brother. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Look at him. He told me he'd be surprised. I've been shaking. I knew he would. I thought I, I put money on he would cry. <laughs> well, I gotta say, this is the first naked surprise we've ever done. I saw him. You can't tell me the shirt on. He was about to go climbing, and I was thinking, oh god, I hope you guys get here soon. I don't know how I'm gonna stop him from going. Well, we're here, so we've been conspiring over the last week or so, as as you do. And um, she told me how much you absolutely love your fishing. I believe we've met once before at my tackle store. Absolutely. A while ago. And um, yeah, so we're going, we're fishing with Barefoot Fishing Safari. We're staying at a place called Crab Claw Island. And um, we're chasing Barrow in the shallows. We're hopefully going to be sight casting to them. I'm not 100% sure. It just depends on what the weather does, because obviously we're very close to wet season. Um, but it should be a fantastic week of fishing, mate. And of course, on top of that, you've got the chance to win. Right, <laughs> woohoo! The fishing addiction challenge: five thousand bucks worth of gear from our very good friends at Wilson, mm -hmm. and another two thousand dollars that you could spend at addicttackle.com.au. So wow. seven thousand dollars worth of gear if you can pull off the challenge. We don't know what the challenge is yet, but we'll set it when we get up there. Doesn't matter. You ready to go? Yeah, this is my dream. Is it? Absolutely. <laughs> You've never been up there. Uh, I've been up for a work trip and a one-day fish in, yeah. a, uh, in a billabong. Did you a, catch a barra? Uh, an undersized barra, but it was still a barra. But you caught you, you yeah. a little one. Yeah, well, yeah, little one. I think it's time to remedy that. <laughs> Absolutely. And get you a real one. <laughs> like a fish of a lifetime one. <laughs> the one you share on social media and go, look what I caught. I didn't, never thought this day would come. You have no idea. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> Seeing a bright light coming through the uh, this screen, uh, that was a bit of shock. I think I started realising why is there a um, why is there a crew at the front door? Um, pure shock. Uh, I just won lotto. <laughs> it's more than that. Um, it's it's more than that to me. It is yeah. Well, what was interesting with this lead up to this happening was how excited for him. I am. I was, I was feeling everything that he was going to feel before it happened. So I can't wait for him to get back and just tell me all about it because this is this is a dream of his. He, he's watched the show. He he knows what it's all about, and oh, I just can't. I can't wait to see him when he gets back. <laughs> I work. You know, my, my one of my life mottos is, is go hard or go home. So I, I go hard at pretty much everything. Um, fishing to me is my 
it's a passion, but it's also a mental stability part to me as well. Like, you know, that's um, when you're fishing, it's just, that's, that's all I'm thinking about is, is where that next cast is going or it's every part of me. I, um, it's an addiction <laughs> to say the least. Well, again, Tyler, welcome to the show, mate. We're really excited to have you on. Excited to be here. I really much <laughs> prefer you in a shirt. Thank you. Yeah. And you've got your membership shirt on there. Absolutely. Wilson, thank you, Wilson. Absolutely. Thank you for being an awesome sport. Thank you. And getting you all set up. Are you excited for dad, guys? Yeah, you don't yeah. even know what's happening, do you? But that's okay. <laughs> oh, we're going fishing. You know what's going on? We're going fishing. Can I shake hands with you too? There's one. There's another. Mate, I'll meet you at the airport in the morning. Absolutely. Bright and early, yeah? <laughs> yeah. All right, see you guys. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Seriously. Wow. It's happening. This week we'll be living it up at the comfortable Crabclaw Island Resort. A little over an hour's drive from Darwin, Crabclaw Island Resort is a picturesque coastal retreat nestled on the water's edge. The restaurant is open brekkie lunch and dinner and includes a well-stocked bar with panoramic waterfront views of Bino Harbour. Welcome to the Northern Territory, my friend. Thank you very much. Crazy? Crazy. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, we're on Glen O's brand spanking new boat. We're about to go fishing, and Glen and I have already been speaking, and we know what the fishing addiction challenge is going to okay. be. We're going to set it before we even go. First things first, though, brand new pair of costas for you, my friend. Get rid of those heaps of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Still got the sticker on the front, but uh, mate, fresh. Oh, amazing. Fresh costas. Yeah. Uh, now, the challenge for you, if you wish to accept it, is 10 species. 10 species. They've got to be decent size. Like if you get a trevally and it's that big, you, know, you don't come all this way to catch a trevally that big, no, right? No, you don't. Okay, so 10 decent fish. One of them must be a barramundi over 80 centimeters. Okay? Yeah. That's it. I can hear him in the back going, ooh. <laughs> when there's 7,000 bucks on the line, five greens worth of gear from Wilson. Yep. That's a lot of gear. And two grand from addicttackle.com.au. So seven grand, 10 species, one over 80. And the kicker is if you get one over a metre, you win instantaneously. Okay. You win twice, a barrel over a metre first. <laughs> Absolutely. And then to win seven grand's worth of gear. Good challenge? Good challenge. Good luck. Thank Welcome you. to the show. Glenno. Yeah. Let's go fishing, brother. We'll go and get that one yeah. straight away, will we? <laughs> He's probably got a secret spot and the first fish is a metre barrel. No worries mate, go for there it. You bugger. <laughs> ah, let's go fishing. Check out awesome. your costas, man. Yeah. So nice. Nice. Cut through that glare. G'day, I'm Waddy from Barefoot Fishing Safaris and uh, we're here in Bino Harbour this week with Bergie and Tyler. Um, it's a massive estuary system, around eight times the size of Sydney Harbour. And we're, uh, our number one target in here is Barra pri primarily, but we also got all the other tropical um, sport fish species like mangrove jacks, cleanfish and trevally. We should encounter a fair few different species this week. This afternoon storms could play a bit of havoc with our plans as well as the wind change, um, but we'll give it our best crack and see how we go. And it wasn't until a few questions in that I went, wait a minute, this cannot be real. This cannot be real. <laughs> so, so excited. Well, it's chaotic, it's full on, and we go, you know, we're, um, we're busy and we both have a lot going on at the moment. And, and I'm thinking about the stuff when I'm away, what she's got, and words can't describe what, what I feel for her right now. We're a pretty strong team. Oh, he's on, fish on. Fish. Relax, relax, relax. He's got him out. Yeah, it's a nice fish too. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a species though, it's, it's a, a species. little finger mark. Yeah, golden snapper or finger mark, well done. Good start. Is it legal size though? I mean, you know, I don't know. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, good start. Creek, yeah, creek snapper, that one. Mate, we've got to count that. 
Yeah. Yeah, we definitely got to. That's a that's a reasonable fish. That's what you've got to catch. Reasonable fish. Reasonable fish. That's species number one. Well done. Lucky off the shoulder for the morning. Yeah, very good. He'll have a fair few mates in there with him too. Nice. Yeah, I've had a few so little taps. So that'll be definitely them. So similar to a jack. And I've got to tell you, mate, sensational eating fish. Yeah, right. They really are good, aren't they? Do we keep him? Well, it's the first fish on the new boat, mate, so it's probably good juju if we let him go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right, okay. You are one lucky snapper, man, because you are going to be in my belly, I can tell you. <laughs> well, that could have been just bait flipping out as well. It doesn't mean it's a fish feeding, but... Oh, he got him! <laughs> oh, that's a that could be a shreddy. Run down the back. Go, 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 go. Yeah, keep the line tight. That's yeah, I'm it. Just, good, right good, 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 good. Nice and easy. Ha <laughs> ha! Love it. It's good. Saw the splash, got the rod in straight away. Well done, mate. You can go much harder on these fish, bro. You got a lot of you got gear to handle them. There you go. Little creamy. <laughs> now, mate, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bad news. Bad news is we're not counting that queenie. Oh. There's no way on the planet you're coming to the Northern Territory to catch a queenie 35 centimetres long and you think that that's going to count. That's more is that fair? Come on. <laughs> Glenno, what do you reckon? Oh, yeah, he's borderline too small, I think. Borderline. 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 Pull him apart. Ooh. That's a good bow. It got him. Nice. It had to happen, boys. It had to happen. Oh, nice runs too. These jelly prawns are moving out, and there's threadfin salmon just working this edge. We haven't seen any really big ones yet, but we don't know what's underneath the small ones. And I'm pretty sure this is just a little. Yeah, it is a little, barra. little barra. It's foul hooks. I only got a couple of hooks in. I just pull him up. Oh, hey, oh, what a release. <laughs> that's the best way to release them when you don't have to touch them. But that's the first barra we've seen for the trip. And it's exciting. Absolutely. First barra. They're in there. Yeah, they're in there all right. Yeah, there's a bit of activity going on. You can literally just see. So what I'm doing is I've got this little Defiance. It's the Defiance 130. And uh, this one, it's from Zeric. It, it dives down to about a metre, but it floats to the surface. So I'm just slow twitching across this really shallow area here. But what I'm doing is I'm actually waiting to see the fish feed. Now, I just saw one in the left-hand side there. There's a bit of a disturbance. And once I see it feed, I just cast straight to that area. And often what these threadies will do is they'll come and they'll feed and they'll turn back around. And anything that they miss, they might have killed something and it got away, they'll eat. So often they'll turn around and that's where my lure will be sitting and they'll eat it. That's the plan anyway. Hey guys, if you want to support Fishing Addiction, become a member today. Uh, we really try and make dreams come true on this show and uh, with all your support, we, uh, we can do it. But the more members we have, the more trips we can do, the bigger prizes we can give away. So become part of the crew today. Sign up at fishingaddiction.com.au uh, and you never know, it could be your door that I come knocking on next. Just a puppy. This is the puppy. Bring him round. Will this be your first ready? This will be my first ready. Nice. Bring him back. They go hard, man. You get a real big one, you'll know about it. Yes. First ready. Nice little thready. Well done. Body. Do we count it, mate? Uh, yeah, he's, I mean, he's keeping size. It's not a big one by any means, but he's the sort of fish we'd put on the table, so I reckon we can. We should be able to upgrade him, but. All right, fine. Yeah, good on you, Tyler. Too much to choose from. Oh, wow. Look at that. Woo! Schmexy. All right. Last year. Thank you. 
Santé. Oh ho, bingo was his name oh. All right, I'm over here. Let's go up that way. Be a jack. Come on, another species, let it be. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a snapper. Oh no, it is a jack, yes. Nice jack, wind down on him. Oh. It is a jack. It is a jack. Oh, yes. Well yes. Yes. <laughs> well done. That's oh, a yeah. lovely fish. Nice. Oh, oh. Beautiful, happy. beautiful mangrove jack. Sensational eating fish. But we are going to let this fish go. These jacks are very slow growing. You take them out of an area, they're out for good. So I think we're going to let this guy go. And this is number three. Number three. I'm feeling a little nervous that we made, maybe made a little bit of yeah, flipping this bloke down the back. He's having a good laugh. Mate, what is all that orange crap? <laughs> We've been like eating local uh, treats. Uh, uh, some local, what are they called? Salty plums. Salty plums. Uh, it's not beetle nut either. I'm telling you. All right, let's let this fish go, eh? Meow. Right. He's gone. Yeah, it's number three. Oh, he's on. Oh, and so am I. Doubles, I got a tiny little thing. <laughs> little queenies. Very nice, these little queenies uh, a lot of fun. However, the big ones are even more fun. And quite often you'll find these little ones on the surface going crazy, a whole school of them. But if you wait, you're patient, more often than not, a bigger one will turn up and you'll see it feeding just separately. You can cast to it. And often you'll find the GTs around here as well, or Brassy Trevally. An intense Arvo storm blew in and forced us to take shelter. Fortunately, Crab Claw Island Resort has delicious local food and refreshing drinks on tap, so we happily watched the weather roll in. Well, maybe Waddy wasn't so happy about it. Feeding mode. I'll put that on. Put the prawn on. There's plenty of weight on it. Yeah, I just want to get a baitcaster. More accurate. Oh, yeah. put it on. Oh, no. I think it's a goldie. Well, I've got a fish. <laughs> and uh, the first fish of the day. Jack. You. One hook in. I've been caught eating a snack. <laughs> yeah, look at the color in that guy. Okay. <laughs> back. I'm back, baby. Fully reared up. Look how nice that colour is. Yeah. Well, first fish of the day. Nice little jack. And my first jack for summer. Look at that little guy. That's the Zeric Defiance in his gob. It was the first cast as soon as we pulled up to this spot. Just saw a few little jelly prawns flicking, cast in underneath. And this guy's absolutely hammered that lure. Look how red he is. Gorgeous fish. I'm just going to shoot him back in. Thanks, buddy. That was awesome. He's out of here. Well, it's a new day fishing with Waddy from Barefoot Fishing Safaris. He's got us onto a spot here that is basically a big flat in the mouth of a creek. And the tide is slowly making its way out and the fish will come right off the back of these snags. You can't catch them when they're right up in there. You'll see the mangroves, it's just intense. When they come off, they don't have a lot of uh, places to go except for in amongst these trees and 
and roots. So it's a really great way of catching barra. And quite often, if the water's clear enough, you'll actually see them cruising along. And to me, that is one of the best forms of fishing for barramundi, actually sight casting, seeing one cruise, get a nice accurate cast in front, and uh, hopefully he eats it. We're using flat shads, Zeric flat shads. And these are great because there are a lot of roots and snags and so forth. So you can just slow roll them through all the roots. It is a little slow because the water is a little dirtier than what we'd hoped, but that's fishing. You just keep persisting and fingers crossed for Tyler. He catches his first legal size barramundi. Hey, fish on. A oh, flathead. <laughs> it's a flathead. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have a flathead. Oh, it's another species. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know, it's too small to count <laughs> that. Want me to tell you about these flatheads? Tell us about the flathead. This is a bar tail flathead. Yes. And this is about a good size. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> really? Give it to him, buddy. <laughs> Spin around, get to look at him. A bar, yeah, bar, bar tail. tail. You yeah, see right. the tail there? Yeah. Oh, man. All right, all right. It's got to be number four because the fishing's been so tough. You are one lucky bugger, mate. I'm happy with that. We're going to keep a flathead in the Northern Territory as one of your species. It's all right. We're going to get a one metre barra. That's, that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> was not expecting that. No, <laughs> no. So we had a bit of trouble finding the, the barra in general, but particularly the bigger barra. So we switched our plan up a little bit um, where we decided to look for what we um, think might be a system with some floodplain at the top of it, just to try and follow down the theory where the bigger barra are gonna aggregate at the mouths of these creeks in anticipation for a spawning event over the uh, full moon, which is coming up. Um, so on an incoming tide, we've come in here and um, just peppered a little color change, pulling off a tree. A bit of bait spraying around there, and it's a classic setup for a big barra, particularly at this time of year. Oh, yeah, fish on. It's a barra. Oh, we found a barra. We have found a barra. It's a nice fish, too. It's having a go. Oh, good run. Look at him taking off. Oh, my gosh. Peeling line. Come on. Such a good feeling having a fish on. We all oh, feel the hook pull. We've worked very hard today. Very, very hard. They don't always jump in the boat, I can tell you that. Come on, mate. Come on, stay on for us. Jeez, oh, that a go. It's a decent fish, I think. It could be foul hooked, I'm not sure. Putting up a good fight. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, that's solid. That's the one we've been waiting for. And I genuinely say this, Tyler, I wish this was yours. I genuinely oh. say so do I. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really wish it was your fish. Man, he's going this one. Well hooked. Yes. Oh, we have literally seen one barramundi all day, and then that just happened. Oh, it's a Holy smokes! Look at the wound on his side there. Yeah, been bitten by something, and they're tough fish. But that is a great fish. Oh my gosh. They're here. Awesome. That proves it. Good work. That they're here. The next one is yours, mate. Come on. There's one just over there. Is there? We'll, we'll be going back in there. Look at that Look slab. That. Oh. Nice fish. You can see that Zeric Defiance hanging out of his gob. Mate, he's a slob. That fish went that hard then. Holy smokes. Big, thick fish. Yeah, very healthy fish. He'd be in the, probably the top 10% of size fish in this whole system. Really? Thank you, my friend. We've got to get this fish back in the water pretty quick, guys. But Let's grab the front part of the... Yeah, but for now... Let's we'll hold him up real quick. Tyler, that's the one you need, my friend. That's the one. What a cool fish, hey? Absolutely. Even just to see him in person and to fight a fish like that, I, mate, I hope with all my heart that this happens for you. 
Unfortunately, I can't make him jump on your lure. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but this fish deserves to live, and definitely a female, and we want to get it back in. So it uh, swims to fight another day, eh? Alrighty, I'll get him down there. All right, all right, all right. Really important when you're uh, releasing these fish. You see a lot of guys will actually swing them down, hang them off the bogers. It stretches their gill rakers. It pulls the muscles off their bone. You need to support them all the way down into the water. Like that. So the water takes the pressure. Whoa, nearly ready to go. Biting down on the bogers. All right. See you, buddy. Off you go. Yep, big, big paddle of the tail and she's away. And it's at this point, I'm gonna give this bloke a wrap. We worked so hard. You can come, I say it all the time, you can come to the best spots in the world to go fishing, but they don't necessarily wanna turn on for you. So you need to be with someone that's fished an area that knows it so well, that just says, okay, I've been here, I've done this, I've been here, I've done that. I know this works on this particular tide. There is so much more than just casting and retrieving a lure. So if you want to come up this way and go on an awesome fishing adventure, check out Waddy. He's a bit of an idiot, but he's a good, he's a good, he's a top bloke, he's a great fisher, and his website is on the screen right now. Let's get one for Tyler. Woohoo! Well done. Well, it's the morning of day three. We have two days to go. And we're just hoping that today we can find the barra. Waddy's got another plan. We've got a few more theories that we've been working on. We're going to a new creek. We've got to get this guy a fish that he's never going to forget. And of course, we've got the challenge to meet as well. Yep. So start casting, start catching, and enjoy yourself, mate. Good to Oh, oh <laughs> he got it on the jump. This time on the weedless fish trap. Uh, the mate, he's right down his gob. There's our first little bat for the day and he's got a little bit of blood on him, so we're gonna keep this guy for a feed tonight. We had one last night and uh, back at Crab Claw and it was delightful. Beautiful saltwater barramundi. What a gorgeous little fish. So he's legal, I'm gonna give him to our skipper. Thanks, mate. Now, the lure I actually caught that fish on, if you've probably all heard of a Zeric fish trap, this is the weedless fish trap. And honestly, you've got to give one of these things a go. You can cast these lures into any snag. Yep. And he's got a barra. Yes, he does. He's got a barra. And this one's on the weedless uh, flat shad. Flat shad. Come on, man. Your first legal barra, maybe. Ooh. Tyler! Don't There's stuff one. it up, There's bro. Sometimes more. <laughs> hold him down, 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 down. Put your rod in the water. Just hold him. Oh. <laughs> yes! Well done, brother. Nice. Hey, that's a lovely fish. fish Booyah! Congratulations, mate. <laughs> yeah, well done. That's so good. Persistence. Persistence. I've got to say, man, you deserve that fish <laughs> so much. Like, far out. How many casts? This is a lot. <laughs> it's funny, we come here to a particular snag. and it's a good two feeling and today. Half, yeah, yeah, today's yeah. looking different, isn't it? Yeah. Man, look how silver that fish is. That is well and truly a saltwater barrel. Look, like, he's almost white. <laughs> man, that is a good looking fish. Gorgeous. Your biggest barrow to date? Absolutely. A legal size barrow. You can see that flat shad. He has absolutely annihilated that, but that'll bounce back. You'll be able to catch another one on yep. that. Good on you, mate. Good feeling, eh? Absolutely, yeah. That was uh, where there's one, there's more. That was what was going on there. Oh, mate, there's probably a stack more sitting in there waiting for us. Yeah. Good on you, Tyler. Well done. Kicker. Beautiful awesome. fish. Man, look how white that guy yeah, is. He is. 
I think we might have to take two back. <laughs> Extra bites tonight. Well, just two, that's it, all right? Deal? Yep. Got it, he ate it, turned it, ate it. It was a barra. Yeah, turned around on it and ate it. That was cool. <laughs> Cruising barra. That was wicked. Tell you what, if you didn't turn on yours, you was on mine. <laughs> that was cool. I loved it, it didn't spook, you just turned on it and ate it. That's great. Here we go, nice fish. They're getting bigger, my friend. We should give this one a bit of a measure too in a minute, just for our own, just for your own thing, yeah, so we yeah, can keep yeah. checking them and yeah, have a go at that, mate. Look at this thing here. Imagine that going into your hand. No thanks. No, thank you. It's rock hard. That's scary. A couple of at the front there as well, and on their side plates, their gill plates there. There's like it's like razor sharp in along that edge there, and uh, they can do some damage. That's for sure. Beautiful fish. Oh, yeah, it's 62. 62. 55's legal, so that's good. 18 centimetres, mate. Come on. Come on, <laughs> mate. It's not over. He actually so came actually out of um, that 38 snake. centimetres. Let's just do that so I can just win and feel good. <laughs> yeah, just win it. Just win it. Just go ahead and win it, mate. What's what's the problem? I don't understand. Why catch an 80 when you can catch a metre? Yeah, look, I don't make it that hard for you, seriously. <laughs> just a metre barra. <laughs> Something very special about a Northern Territory barra mundi really is, it's such a cool fish to catch. And if you look at the conditions, what you don't see on the camera here, folks, is how hot it is, yeah? Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like literally, I think it's 35 degrees. I'd imagine the humidity be in the 90s. We are sweating our butts off, but look at it. It's glass out, and we're catching beautiful barramundi like that, so we're very, very lucky. <laughs> How good was that? <laughs> I don't even care that you didn't hook up. <laughs> that was fantastic. Oh my lord. Oh, that is so cool. Fish on, big fish. Oh, he dropped it. No, he still got it. He still got it. Oh, coming towards me. Oh. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. It's coming up, coming up, coming up. Oh, geez, I tell you what, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was. <laughs> the way that thing was fighting. Goodness me, look, it's still going. Yeti! First barra for the day. Well oh yeah, that's a decent fish on the dry lime. It's a barra. That's a nice fish. This guy'd be probably, I don't know, what would you call that one for? 65? 68 maybe? Lovely fish. You can see that fish trap there. Very good guiding there. We've come along this edge and the plan is to cast this edge all the way down. And as we're coming past, side scan comes into its own. Glenn said, hey boys, I can see some nice fish there on that side scan. And I've thrown that dry lime fish trap. It's a new color. Did really well for us in the blue water. Obviously he's doing well for us here on the barra as well. Lovely fish. All right, buddy, thank you so much. You are awesome. We appreciate you. See you, pal. <laughs> Set for the timing, that's great. Yeah. Uh, oh, I needed a fish break. Fish on, yes. Woo. Come this way, buddy. Oh, yeah, sorry. 
they're just chasing down that, that um, yeah, colour line. Yep. It was That's a last good. minute thought. Last minute thought to get down that colour line. Oh, he doesn't want to give up. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Nicely done. Very good. Yeah, another nice fish. Let's see. Still not the size we're after, <laughs> are they? They're playing with us. They're there. I literally said, nah, no fish along this bank. And boom, you got one. <laughs> one at the second. On That's that colour change, yeah? yeah? Yeah, it was just down that colour line. Very yeah. nice. All right, mate, we've got plenty of fish. I reckon this guy will release, release okay. Yeah. You can uh, just tell him to do the bogus and spear him from there if you like. Sick. See ya, buddy. Keep on cast. Mate, three from three. Same spot. Nice, mate. Good cast. Well, this is the last hurrah. There's no doubt about it. We've come into this creek. The tide has just turned. We were here. This is where we caught the bigger barrow the other day. And we got a couple of smaller ones yesterday. This is it. This is our last roll of the dice. If this doesn't happen, we don't get this metery. It's all over Red Rover. No pressure. No pressure. But even if we just catch a few more fish, we're having a good time. Are we having a good time? Absolutely. Oh, that's good. Great time. I'm glad he's having a good time. I'm it's a fishing. beautiful place. We're fishing. <laughs> and every time you got a lure in the water, you're a chance of that fish of a lifetime. Keep on casting. Oh, <laughs> well, mate, we put in a lot of work. I don't know about you, but I'm very sore. Very sore. Back, neck, everything. Everything. <laughs> one last one. One last cast. Last cast. All right, here we go. Make Wouldn't it be cool? Wise. Wouldn't it be cool? It'd be ridiculous. Come but... on, Mother Nature, just give us one. Where are you going? You go over there, I'll go okay, over here. And we're in. Come on. Oh, I'm getting whacked by something very little. And that, my friend, is all she wrote. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go get some cold ones. <laughs> Oh, you said it. Oh, you have to ask me twice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Woo. I've had such an amazing time up here. Um, it's such a broad place and it's just completely different to what I'm used to. Um, living a dream up here, fishing with Bergie. Uh, I can't uh, express my gratitude enough to to you, Mark and and uh, and Wilson and, and your team and and Waddy uh, from Barefoot. This has just been absolutely spectacular. Uh, it's everything you imagine when you come up here. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the wife and kids though. But, uh, and getting out of the heat. <laughs> but uh, no, it's been absolutely amazing. An absolute dream come true. Well, that's it from us here at Bino Harbour in the Northern Territory. Great weeks fishing with Barefoot Fishing Safaris. Their website is on the screen right now. Glenos are top blokes. If you're coming up to the Territory and you want to go for a fish, hook up with Gleno, check out his website. He's a lovely, lovely bloke and a great fish show as well. Special thanks to Wilson, of course, for making the show possible and for their great prizes. We really appreciate you. And remember, to give yourself the chance to come on Fishing Addiction, you've got to be a member. Sign up today at fishingaddiction.com.au, get a reel, a fishing shirt, and all sorts of other goodies, and you never know, just like Tyler, I might come knocking on your door. Until next week, I'm Mark Berg. You stay safe, and God bless.